The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start the show today like we usually do, looking at the German DAX. And I think if you take a look at this, you'll see the wonderful symmetry that you're looking at here with the 61% retracement, the ABCD to the downside. And that's the epitome of uh, a technical analysis, uh, the way we look at it. So I think that's something that, uh, you know, everyone should take a look at because sometimes they work and sometimes they don't and the focus of today's program will be the ones that don't work because those are the ones you have to pay attention to the winners you can forget about let's take a look here at the next chart that Alan sent us from over across the pond this is the uh, German DAX on a four-hour chart as you can see here we just completed an ABCD down here at that 1.618 level that uh, that big move down you know that's always a uh, an interesting thing to look at when you have that thrust down. So anything below uh, 12,100 in the DAX would send it uh, moving lower would be my guess. But uh, this is still a bit early in the morning. By the way, tomorrow we will have Norman Winsky as our guest of uh, Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida, which is always nice. Now let's take a look at the next one we want to look at, which is the FTSE. This is not traded as much as the DAX by, by a long shot. There's just not many players over there, but it does have the nice patterns. And as you can see here that we're looking at a potential 50% uh, retracement down here at 7200. We're at 7219 right now to see whether that one's going to hold uh, at that level. And then finally, the last one we want to look at here is a, uh, an unusual cross rate that they're looking at right now. It's quite popular over in the UK. I don't do too much of it here. This is the, dollar, uh, the, the British pound versus the Japanese yen. Trades tracks very nicely. If you take a look at this, you'll be able to see here that we have a uh, three drive to a top pattern up there. Very nice. Uh, actually, it's a three drive to a top pattern, folks. And it is also an expanding triangle, too, because uh, C is below A and uh, D is, is above three. So that is that is an expanding triangle. And now you can see the profit objective on this after the 61% retracement to 134 takes you down to 132. So those are a few things that you might want to uh, to be looking at if you trade that cross rate. However, uh, you know, I basically stick with the main five. That's really what I wanted to do. Now, I wanted to talk about something that we were uh, discussing yesterday, and that was the uh, the natural gas let me get this let me get this up here so we can see it uh, one second here someone's asking me a question possibly let's take a look at it. we have mr z on the line john how are you this morning good morning larry i um i apologize jumping in here right at this moment can i just hang I, uh, listen to, ask you to uh, finish your thought on natural gas and then ask you the question i called in about please well, the natural gas uh, is uh, it's in a real real tough spot right now, and the reason why is, you know, yesterday that had about a 900. I'm place put this in here, the den, so you folks can see it, but it had a $900 profit in it, and then it went back below the number, which you know we always when you have that much money in it, you always want to have your stop at break even, and now we're trading a couple dollars below. So what we have to do is wait for the next pattern because that 382 pattern, from our perspective, has failed. You had a really strong rally. I mean, that's uh, it was almost a thousand dollars, and now, you know, you don't want to give up a whole thousand dollars plus your original four hundred dollar uh, risk. You know, so that's fourteen hundred. So you put your stop at break even. This is one of the things we we always teach is that once we go below those numbers, that you just want to stand aside and wait for the next pattern. So that's the real key to this is that the the premise that we were looking at for that support to hold at that two fifty level did not work. And so we must wait for the next pattern to complete. That's the end of what I wanted to. Uh, it, that's that's what what I wanted to discuss this morning. Uh, very good, Larry. Um, I'm calling in, prompted by your just uh, you just highlighted the 
um, the uh, currency pair, British pound, Japanese yen. What I wanted to ask you about, please, is uh, British pound, U.S. dollar. Uh, wondered, um, well, I asked the question if you might pull up your four-hour or one-hour chart. Uh, Larry, just by way of background, I had begun uh, a uh, long-side speculation a couple of weeks ago when um, uh, the, British, uh, uh, the British pound versus dollar went just under 120. Of course, as we know since, it's rallied from 120 to 126. Now, I am flat at the moment. But I see since the high at, uh, I think the exact number was like 125.80 or so, and we uh, declined, bounced, and declined again in a uh, ABC type of pattern. Two questions, please. Where is the low-risk buy on this ABC down? Second question, uh, leaving aside any very short-term moves, do you have any speculations that you're confident in? of whether the British pound rallies north of 126, possibly decisively, or runs back down to retest or break those lows at 120? Well, if I had to put a uh, you know dollar money on it, which is a long-term trade, I wouldn't. Uh, I would rather be on the short side of the British pound because of the longer-term trend. And this last rally that we had from September the third, uh, you know, was up six hand, seven handles, six handles, which is a quite nice uh, area. And we stopped right at uh, just shy of the 78 percent level of the last high. I, f I focused on that in the newsletter, of course. But the question you asked, where is the low-risk buy here in the British pound? This is this is actually quite an easy one. If we take a look at this on a four-hour chart, which gives us the low way back in September the 3rd, you can see a very nice ABCD structure coming in at 123.30. We're trading at 123.90 right now. That happens to be an ABCD, Gartley said in his book on page 221. He says, whenever you see an ABCD structure in a new bull market or a new bear market, take that trade because that's your lowest possible risk and the highest profitable potential. So I'd be looking at that. That would also be a 78% retracement of the low from uh, September the 12th. So that that's a really key level there, 123.30 uh, in the British pound. The way the way I look at it, uh, you know, that's really what I'm watching. I appreciate that. Can I follow up one question? Uh, I'm I'm left confused, and I'm listening to you carefully. Um, you said just you just said. Hey, uh, you're applying the Gartley, uh, the Gartley idea or Gartley's idea yes. of in a new bull phase by the first ABC down into support. You just said that. Just before that, you said, you know, uh, if you had to make a guess intermediate term, you said you're bearish. How does well, John, John you asked me you you asked me long when you asked me for a long term pro projection between 126 yeah. and 119 and the 126 was nothing more than a retracement in a bear market and I uh, you know gotcha. I, I say this is a this is a different uh, uh, different trade we're looking at the support here. we we got a break coming up but stay with us because uh, we, if you're confused that means that I'm confused and everybody else is either so what you, when we come back from the break let's walk through the whole british pound and uh, give an idea of where we are can you do that That'd be very helpful. Thanks so much. Yeah, let's do that. We'll, we'll cover the whole thing. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back with uh, Mr. Z from the Den here at uh, Tiger Financial News Network from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. John, are you still with me? Yes, Mortimer, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, Randolph, we're ready to go. Here's what I'm looking at. I posted the chart of the British pound on a weekly basis. Now, you'll notice from 2018, the market broke hard from 144 down to 125. It rallied up to a 382 retracement at 133. Then it broke down, made new lows, and then we had that reversal that you were so adamantly talking about down there at that 120 level. And from there, we rallied to 125.60, which was an exact 3 382 retracement of the high from 2019. Hence, here we are where we are right now. So we've had a nice move, a very nice move from 120, well, what, roughly 119.60 and change all the way at 119.80 and change up to 125.80. That's uh, six handles looking pretty nicely. So the next thing we did was, going by what Gartley said in his book, is to look for the first A, B, C, D correction in a bull market. Now, if we're assuming this is a bull market and that's what the assumption we have to take and you know how do you spell uh, you know assume a s s u and me so yes. be careful <laughs> all right you betcha anyway here's what we have here if we look at it now we have a very clear and this is over the last four or five trading days it topped on the 20th so here we are the 25th we're five days we're making the very first a, B, C, D correction since that bottom was made at 119.60 Okay, now that's a definition right out of Gartley's book is you buy that first ABCD correction and uh, that would be at 123.30 and uh, you know, that's the main thing. However, there's a caveat here that Gartley didn't talk about except in his secret book that I only have the, the only copy that was ever given to me on his deathbed in uh, 1969, right before he passed away. He gave me this book and in the back of it, there's a little page that says, be sure you don't take the losing trades on ABCD formations. So well, I've written that. Before your time is up, 
hosting <laughs> shows on TFNN, I am going to drag all your secrets out of you. So uh, I just am forewarning you here. So uh, today, uh, today we've got one. So go ahead, sir. Well, in other words, if the 12330 doesn't hold, then uh, you know the whole premise of what we're looking at, it, the two things would happen. One is the ABCD format would not work. And the second thing is you're breaking major support at that 382 at 12330. So this is the way I handle it. And I, and I know you know a lot about risk. But if I buy at 12330 and I know that each tick on the British pound is worth $6.25, so if I risk roughly 40 points, which is $250, I'm able to control a, you know, a foreign currency that valued you know, pretty close to $90,000. I can trade that for about a $300 risk. So that's certainly acceptable because if the profit, if the pattern is correct, it could have a very, very uh, significant uh, return on it. But I, like like everything else, I know what my risk is, but I don't know what my profit potential is. So I have to focus on how much I'm risking. That's the, the key to what we do in pattern recognition is focus on your losers. Forget about the winners. Those are going to come and go, but uh, the losers are the ones you got to focus on, much like we're doing in natural gas. We had a, a nice profit in that, and now it's dissipated, and we're out break even, and now we have to wait for the the next pay, uh, the next, uh, the next pattern. So that's uh, that's how much I. On that, Larry, that's very clear. I might just uh, follow up and ask just one last question tied in with all of this, and your trip to uh, London uh, a week or two ago. Um, you you piqued my interest when you mentioned. I th think it. I think the man's name was Tom. Is that the guy you were trading with? Tom, yeah, Tom Hugard. Who yes. Once uh -huh. Yeah. For or with Michael Spencer. Yes, that's Tom. He's out of uh, out of the UK. Yes, I've been my friend for uh, 16 years. Yeah, what can I do for you? What can you ask? So my I'll question tell you. is, just in speaking with uh, that network of people, um, I am wondering if you are left with um, with any hunches as to how the monarchy will ultimately resolve. Uh, stay in the EU or or leave via Brexit. Well, I happen to have a. I don't have any. One second, John. <clears throat> One of the things you know, when I went over the, on the uh, the eighth of September, I spent uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with my friend, and uh, he has studied that a great deal. Uh, he is. He was one of the first people to tell me that break they were going to leave, and that was when the odds were nine to one that they weren't going to leave. And uh, he believes that they are going to leave. It's uh, mainly because the overall number structure of the European Union doesn't work. When you've got 27 countries in there and you've got one or two that are running the whole show, which is basically Germany and France, uh, it uh, you know it really it really it, it's not fair to them. So that's why he believes that the, the the whole European Union and the euro will go bye bye sometime you know the next five to ten or twenty years. He believes that will happen, but that's long term. You know that has nothing to do with the trading. That's just a philosophy that you uh, asked about, John. If you ever get over there to the UK, uh, I will set it up so you can go over and visit with him and, and figure on spending the day because when you walk away. Uh, you're going to be, uh, and I know you, John, really well, and I know what you've studied, and you will literally walk away with your mouth open. So that's uh, that's all I can tell you. I hope uh, that helps. I, appre I, I appreciate that very much, and uh, thanks for the help on that uh, British pound, U.S. dollar trade idea. So um, uh, good trading to you, Larry. Thanks again. Thank you for calling in, John. I really appreciate it. It's nice to have someone calling in so that I can focus on some of the things that, uh, you know, we like to see when we're watching uh, some of these uh, markets today. Okay, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at something, folks, that we talked about yesterday. Because I want to talk about the patterns that fail. And one of the things that we were watching here, if you remember, yesterday was uh, we were looking at uh, someone asked a question about Bitcoin. And as you can see here, we had a really nice Gartley pattern in the Bitcoin. You can see there at the D point down there at 90, uh, 9600, and we rallied all the way up to a 10,300. Uh, in the first day, and then what you do, you gave almost all of it back there. Now, there's a situation if you're buying at point D, I mean, that's really a nice, you're right at the 78% level. You got an ABCD structure, and you, you look, at the, look at the profit that you have here. Now, are you willing to give up all that profit 
and, and you know to keep your stop below D after you're you're up uh, you know almost uh, 600 700 points not me I think that would be silly because once it went once it if should it go back below it that tells you you're in big trouble not only do your profits are gone but now you're going to be looking at a loss so if we look to see what happened at Bitcoin let's just take a quick look you'll see here that that's exactly what happened and this is what we don't want to happen in natural gas because you had a perfect buy down there at 96 it rallied up to 10,400 that's 600 handles and then from that level down it came and if you looked at it really closely and I'm just doing this for the first time right now if you look at it really closely you can see a and C and all you have to do is to visualize at 10,400 you would have a perfectly symmetrical 135 pattern saying hey you know we got to get above this right away before we go anywhere. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
right, folks, we're going to take a look here at this Bitcoin a little bit. I have not traded this. This is not anything that I'm in. I'm just going to give you an idea of what we're looking at here. Uh, you can see point D there uh, on the uh, 17, 17th of, uh, of September. We had a really strong rally from 9,600 up to 10,400. Now, if you'll look at it really closely, you can see the 135 pattern. You have lower highs. They're coming in at really nice ratios. If you'll measure the time distance between 1 and 3 and 3 and 5, you'll see that there's very strong symmetry there. And then from that level, you went down. Now, if you bought at point D and you wanted to hold for something larger, that's okay. But why would you? Why in the world would you give up everything that you made between 9,600 and 10,400 you know, just to see if it's going to go higher. I just don't think that's uh, the right thing to do. I know when we look at Mark's, you know, the four major fears, the fear of being wrong, which we are going to be wrong a lot. We know that for a fact. The fear of losing money. Yes, we know we're going to have losing money and we will lose money. The fear of missing out. Yes, we are going to miss out because the only way you're not going to miss out is that if you buy the absolute low tick and sell the absolute high tick. That's the same reason for number four, which is leaving money on the table. So in this situation now, you have made, you know, six handles on this, which is a great deal of money. And so why would you give all of it back? So your key to that is that the worst case scenario is you put your stop at break even. And if you see you did that at 9600, you can now buy it at the reduced price down almost a thousand points at 85, 1100 points at 8500. So <laughs> there's an idea of, well, you don't want to miss out on that. So, you know, pay attention to that, folks. It's all about risk control how much money you lose, not how much money you're going to make. So focus on that. You know, you're only going to be right if you're really good five or six times out of 10. Uh, you'll have a few break-evens and a few losses, and that's what you'll be watching as you walk through these uh, uh, patterns as we you know, show them each day. Now, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but that's neither here nor there. Now, I wanted to uh, uh, bring to your attention the natural gas one more time. Someone's asking another question about it. And the reason, the re thank you very much, David, for putting that in. He's put, posted the uh, the four fears. You'll notice here that uh, once that natural gas, oh my gosh, you know what? Uh, I just realized something, folks. Do you know that, that it's going to be Mark's birthday on Friday? He would have been uh, 70 years old. Okay, let's move on. 71. Uh, if you notice here on the natural gas, uh, we've broken down below that level. We hit the, the really key level, 250, and then we rallied up to uh, 259. And then, of course, we closed lower right on the low, and then it started to move down tonight at 240. Uh, We're trading below that level now. So we have to wait for the next pattern to form, and that would be an ABCD structure uh, down lower. And that would be an interesting one, because if this is a, a truly bull market, this would only be the second ABCD pattern that we've seen in the natural gas. The first one was way back uh, a couple months ago, well, about a month and a half ago, when Mr. Z was pointing it out to us at 211. So that's going to be another one that looks uh, pretty interesting. Uh, so several people have asked me this morning about silver and gold. Uh, the gold got up to uh, 1540, 1544, I think, uh, yesterday, uh, right at the 78% level. Uh, silver missed it by about 18 cents, which was uh, supposed to be around 1880. Oh, yeah, 1880, it got to 71. 87, 1887, it got to 1871. And platinum is just flat rolled over. And it doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't mean too much. So we'll see if that's going to be something that we need to look at. Uh, we take a quick look here at the uh, stop and P. We'll be able to take a look at it here one second here, and we'll get it up here. We'll be able to see it. You'll see here, this is where we've come. Uh, September, you can see the big ABCD structure up there uh, multiple times. And uh, we had a pretty good break. We stopped right at major support yesterday, folks, 2.15. 2952. Uh, we're trading around 2970 the last I checked. And uh, if we get below that 2940 uh, level, that is not going to be good. Uh, that has been hit, you can see, many times over the past. We went above it. Now, if we go back below it after all that distribution, uh, that would be uh, quite uh, quite troublesome to the, uh, to the bulls if if, in fact, this market is going to go down, and I'm not sure. Uh, how, okay, Terry's asking a question. Uh, on some of the three drives you show, 
do not look very symmetrical to me. Uh, well, they should be pretty symmetrical. And the reason, what we mean by symmetry is you, if you have both time and price together, in other words, if you count the number of bars up in, in wave uh, two and wave three, if those are equal, that's perfect symmetry. But the, the real symmetry, Terry, rely, uh, lies in the ratios. The ratios between uh, wave three and wave five should be very, very close to 1.27 or 1.618. If all three of them, uh, one, two, and three are at 1.618, that, that's the ideal situation because now you're sitting at a spot where there's no time left. And uh, in other words, it either works right away or you're gone. And that's why pattern recognition does give you some really good low risk entry points. I mean, sometimes they don't work, of course, but uh, you know that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Now that same pattern exists uh, in the one, three, five, the one, two, three drive to a pattern also exists in the strong trending markets that Roy Longstreet talked about. And here's a here's a perfect example of this, Terry. Since we're looking at it right here, this is the E mini uh, from uh, yesterday. You'll notice that we have that one, three, five pattern. The ratios that we're looking at, you'll see wave three is 61% of one, and it is 78%. Uh, the difference between 78 and 0.84 for uh, trading purposes is very, very small. And so that came in at 30.12, and then we had the move down where we got down to 29.58.50 yesterday. We have a, have a little bit of bounce. So just by looking at this, you would think that any resistance in the S&P would come in near those old lows at 29.82 if, in fact, it's going to, to do that. So whether that is going to help you or not, I don't know. But the one key thing that you should always remember is that if you see a three drive to a top pattern and you have any doubt at all, it most probably is not going to be a three drive to a top or three drive to a bottom. It's that clear. I know that it's drive one up, drive two down, whoop, drive three down. And if it's perfect, if you look from low to low to low, uh, if it lines up with any type of time or harmony, uh, uh, harmonic numbers uh, of these uh, Fibonacci sequence numbers, 1.27, 1.618 expansions, then that's it. Now, remember, folks, you know, sometimes if, if you're using instant software, they, they draw these patterns out to the thousandth decimal point. And if you're looking at a difference between 1.27 and 1.414, which is the uh, square root of two, it, it, the difference in that for trading purposes usually very very small so that's where the key lies is to keep uh, keep your losses as, as, as you know small as possible by the way folks I just posted that chart uh, the uh, S and P uh, on a hourly basis. Now, if you really want to be creative, why don't you go take a look at the old slippery black stuff coming out of Saudi Arabia, also known as West Texas Intermediate Crude. Anyway, take a look at that, and you'll see that uh, we have that upside down pattern in that right here at uh, 60 bucks a barrel. With uh, let's try it again, at 55 dollars a barrel. Pay close attention to it. Anyway, Texas Tea, that was from the old uh, Barnaby Joe, uh, Buddy Ebsen's, uh, those are Beverly Hillbillies. Yep, I sure love that, uh, love that thing. Well, we got a brace coming up, 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year Treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we've been asked to take a look here at the uh, hog market. We're gonna look at December hogs. Folks, look at the time back here in February. You can see that's when the Asian thing happened over in, uh, in China. They went from 62 to 90, a 28 cent move in hogs. At that point, of course, there were gonna be no hogs available in the world. In fact, uh, China bought, uh, a couple of years ago, they bought Smiths, but you'll notice that high came in, and, and of course, it turned out to be a bunch of baloney, which many times it does happen. That's why being a technician helps you a little bit because you don't have to be focused on some of these things here to take a look at it. Anyway, uh, if you if you look at this, what happened in the hogs, we made the big top up there. Uh, there's no three drive or anything in that area that makes it, you know, showing it's a top, but you come down and you rally up to nearly a 382, which is roughly 0.44. You break really hard down to the 61% retracement level there. Looks like it's great, and it does. It's stops at 68, you rally 12 cents a pound, up to 78% level of the high in May. That also is the 50% level from the high in April. And then you come down and make a big ABCD and a three drive pattern. Then this is what Ruby was talking about here on the 10th of September. We had a really nice bottom in here. Now that is not a, a perfect three drive uh, to a bottom, folks. It's very, very close. The difference is the days is off by, the days are off by about, uh, two points, but you'll see the first low was 1.12, not 1.17, but 1.12, and the second low was 1.12. This is the Ensign program goes out to the thousandth decimal point, and that, that's pretty accurate. So at 57.75, away they went, and they went all the way up to a 72, and then they backed off. If you look at that real closely on that back off, you can see the ABCD pattern from the high that we made on the 16th to the low of the 23rd. There's a beautiful ABCD. CD comes in exactly at the 50% retracement of the low on the 10th, and now we've had a pretty good run. Now, if you bought that, you certainly have had, you know, got about four cents in it. You don't want to give all that back, so you put your stop at around 66 and let her rip, because if it works, you're looking at an ABCD structure that's going to take you all the way up to 80. So to give part of your profits back, and put your stop at 66 is worthy of it because between 66 and 80 is 14 handles that you're in a free trade. And that's what the whole game is all about, trying to keep that uh, keep that moving. So keep that, uh, keep that in mind as you uh, 
walk through some of these things, it would be very, very helpful. I think you'd be able to see some of these uh, things unfold as we uh, as we get through these levels right here. So that's that's really what I'm looking at. I hope that that helps you as far as the three drive pattern is quite simple. As long as you are in a situation where you don't have to ask yourself the question, gee, is this a three drive or not? It should just jump out at you, just like you are an artist looking at, uh, you know, something that uh, is, you know, really appealing to you, like an Elvis painting out of uh, Nogales, Mexico, where the eyes follow you across the room. It's truly amazing. Anyway, let's move on. Someone asked a question here uh, about the uh, dollar index. I want to give you a, a, our uh, two cents worth here on the dollar index because I think we've had some uh, really good uh, indications that the euro was going to weaken a little bit here. Let's get this chart up first. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just hoping. I'm not hoping. I'm not in the sugar. But, uh, you know, I was assuming it was going to go higher. We should go at least a penny higher, uh, Ruby. Uh, getting up above 13 cents would be my guess. But uh, that, that's, I'll, I'll do the sugar right after I finish here with the uh, with the dollar index. You can see here we, we stayed right at those three bottoms there. There's a 135 pattern in the dollar index, as you can see there, between August and September. Beautiful 135, perfectly symmetrical, uh, just about everything you could ask for. And now we've gotten up above 98.40 in the uh, dollar index, which means that if we get much higher, we could be looking at something pretty dramatic. Remember, the British pound and the euro are still in major downtrends, folks. That means that the dollar index is in a major uptrend. So sort of pay attention to that. It's uh, something that I think that we really need to uh, really need to focus on. Okay, let's move over for Miss Ruby to see the uh, sugar, the sweet. We'll get up here and take a look. I've got to switch over. I still have October uh, October sugar in here, Ruby. I will. I don't trade it, so I just put it up. But March is the one you want to be trading. And as you can see here, uh, the low was at 10.65. We should get some, uh, about another uh, penny higher. Uh, that's around 13 cents in the March. So that's what I would be watching uh, with that to pay uh, close attention uh, to that one. Uh, those of you that are are still involved. Hold on, let me get this up here. Uh, you know, we were very interested in these, this corn market down there at the uh, uh, three, uh, 356 level. We're now trading at 377. It's up a thousand bucks. So we're at the near the top end of that range there. So make sure you put your stops in that you don't give any of that back, folks. You don't want to give too much of your, your profit back. So that's the main thing. Now, I wanted to focus a little bit more on the psychology stuff today, but I will take a few minutes here to go over uh, uh, about what, what you have to do to be a, a really good trader. This is right out of my notes from uh, working with Mark. He wrote that book, Trading in the Zone, here in uh – here in my uh, office. We shared it together. But uh, he said that successful trading is a function of staying focused on what you need to learn and not the money. That's why looking at these charts every day, watching your equity going up and down, that sucks. I mean, that's just not very good. It really isn't good. You know, that that's just uh, the money will be a byproduct of your skills. He used to give the examples here that, uh, gee, I'd like to have I'd like to buy a new BMW. Well, if you if you focus on the BMW, you're, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be really screwed up. Focus on the money because right behind the money on that chart is the BMW. So focus on the amount of money you're losing or winning, not 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 when you're winning, but follow your, you know, make sure you protect your 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 losses. That's the key because once these markets run, sometimes, you know, they can really surprise you. You, know, you also you keep in mind that you're always doing the best we can because the results that we found based on pattern recognitions or whatever system you're using, and you have the uh, the, the experience that to understand it. Because until you can prove to yourself that your belief system that these patterns work, it's going to be difficult for you to believe it. Now I've been doing it for so long, I don't even have second thoughts about it. When I hear a news item, and uh, you know something's happening, whether it's a tweet here, a tweet there, I don't know, but uh, you know I just move on. On because it frankly it doesn't make any difference to me to see what's going to happen uh, to, to to the market because I know that the market follows a trend and the, of course with tweets the way they are now that the market will you know we could lose 30 50 handles in the S and P and not change anything we saw that on Tuesday Wednesday was a totally different uh, Tuesday was a totally different thing by the way. 
uh, one of the work that John Jameson and I have been working on over the years is data dependency is the actual worst day for trading in the S&P is actually on a Monday because it has choppy action and that's exactly what happened. So I don't know why it is, but 68% of the time you're going to get choppy action in non-trending markets on Monday. So that's something that you might want to keep in mind. The most important objective that you have as a trader is to develop a foundation of complete and absolute, that's underlined, by the way, trust in yourself. If you completely eliminate the potential to damage yourself by always following your rules and always saving yourself, then you will have nothing to fear. If you never have anything to fear, you put yourself in the best possible psychological condition to learn about the markets. And that's the way it is from Billy Ray Valentine of Duke and Duke. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, folks. <clears throat> it's got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> All right. Let's uh, take a look at the markets. Uh, still down a little bit here in the S&P. Um, uh, we had a pretty big break yesterday, a little bit of emotionalism based on the possibility of a, 
of uh, uh, impeachment stuff, which I don't know what's going on there, but nobody else does either. Uh, we know that over in uh, the UK, where you know Boris Little Trump Johnson is having his problems too. So evidently, the political arena is a little more difficult uh, just about everywhere. It's they're still having problems in Hong Kong with a great deal of trouble in there. So it's just a few things that you want to be uh, keeping your uh, eyes on the road as you walk through the trading room of life, as they say in the trade. All right, I'm going to share with you one other one here, folks, just for the heck of it. Just take a look at it. We'll get up here and take a look. Oh, where did it go? Where did Here it is, the wrong one. Here's one. This is, I'm just going to, you, you make your own decision what you want to do here, but let's just talk about this pattern here. Yeah, it sure is, Marshall. All right, let's look at the, uh, the uh, Treasury notes here as a daily. <clears throat> Uh, if you just look at this, you can see that there's a three drive pattern that is really, really asymmetrical because uh, one and three and three and five are all messed up there. If you looked at it closely between the 12th and the 19th, you could see a much clearer one. But that one is not the one I wanted to show because what I wanted to show you here is this is also a head and shoulders pattern, boys and girls. You'll notice there on the uh, 10th of August, we made our right shoulder. Our left shoulder was yesterday. Possibly. We don't know for a fact, but if it is, it was lower than the right shoulder, just two ticks away from the 61% retracement. We made it in the bonds, but we did not make it in the notes. Now, whether this means much or not, I don't know, but all I know is we're up eight days in Treasury bonds, so they're certainly overbought. And whether there's going to be a correction or not remains to be seen. So that's some of the things we're looking at. And with the end of the show coming up here with a sunny day here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 877-927-6648. You missed it today, folks. The lines were filled. We didn't have much time to answer any questions. But maybe tomorrow, God willing, the old trading gods will let you get through and you can ask your questions. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.